Oh, hey there, elites. How's it going? It's me, your boy, Waddles. Welcome back to Watlantis. We are over at the Villager Village today to begin things off because I have to show you something big. So this trade pained me, but I, I took it. An emerald for a stone hoe. Worst deal in the history of deals, but I did it. Then over here, it looks like we have a busy farmer villager. I took this trade. This trade did not pain me at all. 22 carats for an emerald, that's a great deal. So that means that I've traded with both villagers now, which is great news when it comes to breeding. The other big requirement is beds, and there is uh, definitely way more than enough beds around this town for the villagers to breed. So. Whenever they have some time, they should maybe, hopefully, decide to do the thing, and maybe we'll start seeing more villagers in the village soon. I definitely plan on coming back over here very, very soon after our somewhat big project and messing with it a little more. But uh, yeah, we have kind of a big project today. So, today is the day, elites. We are definitely going to go ahead and gather up some supplies real quick here and then head over into the end and take on the dragon. In the episode, I'll try and remember to, to throw a few tips and tricks out there for you guys if you're planning on doing this too. So, first things first, gathering the supplies. To gather the supplies, first we need to craft some glass bottles. Then we need to go outside of our, outside of our storage building here, grab the water over here, and fill those bottles up. Now we are about to do a quick mini potion tutorial. I'll definitely be doing more with potions later on, so we'll talk about it more then. First things first, fuel. Fuel goes over there. Then water bottles go right down there. Now the next ingredient here depends on what type of potion you're trying to brew. We're trying to brew a potion of slow falling, so that means nether wart is next. We throw a nether wart in here and this arrow will slowly fill up. This over here is showing that the potion is being brewed. This is the fuel uh, meter, if you will, right there. So that's gonna go ahead and complete right now. Then we have three awkward potions. Awkward potions, as you can see right here, have no effects. That's uh, These things won't do us any good. When making most potions in Minecraft, but not all, awkward potions are your first step. So now after that, we're gonna go ahead and throw a phantom membrane in here, let this thing brew up, and then we'll actually have potions of slow falling. Exactly what we needed. So, uh, boom, and just like that, three potions of slow falling. Now, as you can see right here, the duration of these potions is one minute and 30 seconds. That's not very long. After brewing your potions, you can actually continue to mess with them a little bit more. If we wanted to turn our potions into splash potions, we could put some gunpowder in our brewing stand and let it brew up, and then our potions would turn into splash potions. We don't really need splash potions. We can drink these ourselves. We need these potions to last longer. That means we need redstone dust. Throw a piece of redstone dust on the top, let it brew up, and your potion duration will increase. Now we have three potions of slow falling the last four minutes. That is definitely, or it should definitely be more than enough, so we'll take these with us. Now when you're doing this, you technically don't have to brew three potions at once, you could just do one, but that doesn't really make sense. I mean, if you can put three potions in here, you might as well make three potions. What I'm saying is we'll probably end up only needing one or two, but we have three. So now, the other supplies. It's definitely time to get geared up with this good, good armor. So diamond armor, you're definitely coming with me. Now the iron armor, I think we'll just, I guess, uh, leave here on the armor stand for now. I, I don't really know what to do with this stuff. We probably will start using diamond armor from this point on. Not too sure, because uh, this diamond armor might break pretty quickly. We barely have unbreaking three on this stuff. But I, I guess we'll see. So armor check. The next thing that we definitely need to bring is tools. Tools are check. Potions also check. I thought about making some strength potions, but I don't think I'll honestly need them. So slow falling potions is it. Now the next thing that we need is food. We only have 54 steak right now. I don't like that. I like to have more than enough food when I'm taking on the dragon. So let's head over to the starter house and grab more food. Right before the episode, I threw the steak into the smoker, and boom, there we go. 64, 22, that should be way, way more than enough. Now, just to be safe, I don't anticipate anything bad happening at all, but just to be safe, we will leave the diamond axe right there, and we will leave the diamond shovel right there as well. We don't need those. We'll craft a replacement shovel, uh, just because, I mean, why not? But the diamond ones with mending, yeah, those are going to stay right here. We will be bringing our good silk touch pickaxe because this one has efficiency. Efficiency is definitely good. We uh, will have a giant thing trying to hurt us, so if we can mine faster, that's nice. 
Now, next up, bring some blocks. I recommend bringing at least four stacks, but maybe six stacks. So that should be good. Uh, you could bring dirt. You could bring cobblestone. Really, whatever you want. Something like sand probably isn't great, though. If we end up getting really unlucky in the next few minutes here and spawn in the end out off of the main island we're gonna have to make a bridge really quickly and sand wouldn't be very good for that so blocks bring blocks finally last things last we need eyes of ender to actually enter the end we need to turn the portal on i cannot forget those things that would be bad now i think i think that's everything i think we're ready to actually go over into the into the nether and zoom over to the stronghold we found the stronghold a few episodes back and then we linked it up in that same episode to the nether hub which is very very nice it'll make it very easy for us to go in and out of the end after this fight is done so, while we're sailing here, I'd like to play a little game. Do you think I will commit respawn in the end? Poll on screen right now, vote in it. Now, if you unfortunately think that I will not make it very long in the end, how many times do you think I'm gonna die? Take a guess down in the comments. Hold on, freeze frame. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering why I'm cutting in here this time. <laughs> in seriousness, I just did it out of habit, uh, but you should definitely set your spawn in the stronghold before you go into the dragon fight, just in case. So uh, make sure you do that. But uh, anyways, I was saying... Now, before we enter the end, or go into that room even, I'd like to talk about one more thing that you can do to make your life easier during this fight. If you'd like, you can wear a pumpkin helmet on your head during the dragon fight to make the Enderman not care about you. If you have a pumpkin helmet on, you can stare at Enderman all you'd like, and they won't get mad at you at all. If you're not bringing a pumpkin helmet, like actually us today, I recommend bringing a water bucket. Endermen cannot walk in water, so if they start swarming you, drop the water down, stand in the water, you should be good. I just heard an Enderman right now. Speaking of, uh, buddy, you're, you're, you're not gonna, you, you just stand down there. All right, well, no sense in delaying any longer. Now we need to run over here and place all of these eyes inside of the frame here, just like that, boom. The end is activated. Now, uh, all we have to do is, uh, wrong, wrong way. <laughs> now, all we have to do is this right here, and we're off of the island. So instantly, we need to start making a bridge, because if the dragon hits us or anything bad happens, we are shot into the void. If we fall into the void, all of the items are gone. But we're safe. That... That is pretty much my worst nightmare when going to the end. The whole in the void thing, I don't know. That, that doesn't sound very fun to me. So now we need to work on getting rid of the dragon. Getting rid of the dragon really has two phases. In phase one of the fight, the phase that we're obviously currently in, we need to shoot out those crystals. Those are end crystals. They regen the dragon's health. If the dragon can regen its health, well, it's basically going to be very hard or nearly impossible to get rid of the dragon. So first things first, all of those floating things need to go away. Now, while we're doing this, we need to definitely not look at Enderman. That would be very, very bad. And the dragon will be shooting stuff at us. The stuff that it's shooting is called Dragon's Breath. That stuff right there. Dragon's Breath is very, very, very dangerous. So uh, don't stand in it. You really also want to try and stay in the middle of this island. If you go off near the edge and the dragon hits you, well, then you could go flying very far and end up in the void, which is kind of a problem. If you have good aim, this step is good. If you have bad aim or subpar aim, this step, it can be a little more tricky. Your guy right here, of course, the aim is elite. Now also, try and keep your eyes on the dragon, or at least be uh, somewhat aware as to what it's doing, because it will charge you from time to time as well, which gets pretty dangerous. Now eventually the dragon is going to go and land on the middle platform, just like that right now, and that's basically your time to build. So, while the dragon's on the middle platform, it's obviously not flying around, and that looks terrible. Uh, that looks dangerous, but the dragon's not flying around right now, so we can actually climb up here and break the bars. This is the best time to break the bars uh, while the dragon's in the middle. Now, uh, is it still in the middle? No, it's not. It's flying around. We're gonna get down really quick and um, go back towards the middle. <laughs> See, the plan here is if the dragon does end up hitting us and setting us into the air, we'll drink the potion of slow falling and we should hopefully be good. 
uh, but I don't think that the dragon will end up charging us because, well, because we're good. We're gonna wait to break the other iron bar one. Are they mad at me? Are you guys, no, no, I think you're, you want the dragon. Okay, that's good. Get the dragon. The dragon is disgusting. So, did I get that one yet? I don't think I did. I, I think I missed this one. Um, yep. I don't think I hit that one, but I heard the dragon's mouth, so we're gonna keep moving. Whoops, that's my bad. I didn't mean to pour that water. Um, <laughs> yep, that's my bad. Now, the reason I'm looking at the ground so much during this fight this time is the Enderman. I am actually, I might not show it, but I am very terrified of Enderman. I don't like them, so, yep, that's why I'm running around looking at the ground. Looking at the ground is a great way to avoid Enderman disliking you. If you just stare at the ground, well, then uh, you can't end up accidentally looking at them. Then whenever it's time for you to shoot at these things, just quickly look up and try to avoid the dragon's breath and avoid the enderman for sure too. Now, if I thought, of, whoa, did I look at one? Um, no, I guess not. <laughs> okay, I definitely looked at one this time. Definitely looked at that enderman, uh, I think, maybe? Yeah, yeah, definitely. The, the noise. It, it, the noise tells you if the Enderman is mad at you. Uh, if you hear the noise, definitely dump the water down or get your sword ready. Uh, but be careful. If you stand in the Dragon's Breath, even with water down, uh, you're still going to take a lot of damage. So, yep, uh, be careful. So, I know I have one crystal on top of that one over there and then one more rate on that one. But other than those two, and that one's actually gone now, I think. Uh, yeah, that's gone. So other than those two, we have this caged one right there. I'm sort of waiting for the dragon to land to take that one out. Uh, oh, perfect timing. Okay, the dragon's landing. Let's go ahead and go over here and quickly get rid of this thing. Our end generation looks, uh, kind of crazy to say the least. Like, the, it looks like there's lots of gaps. We'll look around after the fight. Uh, oh, that dragon just missed us. That could have been dangerous. Uh, but, uh, we'll look around after the fight, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of those. Now, when getting rid of those cages, definitely get rid of the corners. Don't get rid of the flat sides. It's just, it makes your life easier. Because after getting rid of the corner, you can back up, turn around, and shoot right in that corner. Get rid of the crystal. Now, I think we just have one more over there, which we're going to try and take care of while the dragon is is throwing a fit. And then, okay, well, I guess not. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay, you hit me. And I'm not quick enough. I am not quick enough. You know what we're going to do? Just because, why not? We'll drink that, and we'll put the water down right here. Enderman, you can leave me alone. I am just, I'm just taking a bath. I'm just taking a bath. All right, realistically, the armor that we have is pretty good. We should be able to take out these Endermen without taking any sort of bath. Uh, and I'm hearing the dragon shooting at me anyway, so uh, we're, can you just can you just make, make it easy for me, Enderman? You just stand still. Thank you, dude. So now we have slow falling, which is kind of cool. We're drifting around. That's kind of fun. Uh, might make our life a little bit easier. I guess it'll be less scary if we get shot into the air. Oh, that's gone. The dragon is circling. Oh, wow. Your guy got rid of that a long time ago. Okay, so I think it's time to actually just start shooting at the dragon. So in phase two of the fight, the phase that we're currently in, we need to get rid of the dragon's health bar. The dragon's health bar is and has always been on the top of the screen. If you have good aim, this step is crazy easy. If you have bad aim, this step is, um, it'll take some time. Walter is just not the, the best shot. It's definitely not me. Now, eventually the dragon will still go and land in the middle. And when it does that, if your shot is crazy good, like mine, definitely. <laughs> you can you can get rid of it while it's doing that weird dance. After it lands in the center, you have a choice here. Uh, you can either wait for it to go back into the air, or you can be brave like us and walk over here. And hey, don't hit me. Uh, you can land some hits on the dragon with a sword, but you just need to be careful. So if we, um, excuse me, uh, excuse me, dude. Uh, okay, you know what? You know what? Okay. <laughs> oh man, that fight was going so well. Well, now it's time to go back over there and get our stuff. Should be pretty easy. It's right in the middle of the island. Wow. A death. I really, wow. All right, dragon. We get it. You're cool. You're cool. Okay. Uh, we get it, dragon. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and grab this stuff really quick. We're going to put that on and we're going to eat. Eating would be good. And then maybe slow falling in a minute after we get all of our stuff back um that would be probably pretty smart too four more minutes of that stuff that should last us through the rest of the fight if everything goes well which it definitely will <laughs> and uh now we just need to heal up and finish the fight off so 
Uh, don't get stuck on blocks when you're near the dragon in the middle. I think that's really what happened. I, I was stuck on something. It might have been these blocks right here. We, um, yeah, you need to be careful when you're, when the dragon's in the middle because it can deal a lot of damage. Now, we also actually have a couple empty glass bottles now. If you go to the end to take on the dragon and you bring some glass bottles, you can actually pick up the dragon's breath. You just need to be very, very careful. Now, not gonna lie, I'm a little scarred about what just happened, so I think this time we um, might give the dragon a little bit of space. <laughs> uh, just, just a little bit. Uh, excuse me, dude. Excuse me. So if you don't have a very good sword like us, or you just don't like the idea of going up near the dragon, you can actually... Uh, is an enderman mad at me? Is somebody mad at me? What did I do? It wasn't me. <laughs> uh, dragon's breath. Yes, we will take some of this. Don't know if we'll ever use it, but thank you. And thank you. Uh, advancement for that, too. I kind of forgot about that, but there we go. We have some dragon's breath. That's cool. Now, you, you gotta go away. The Walter is very strong, so that's cool. Now, when the dragon has landed in the middle, you actually can't shoot it with a bow. Uh, your shots will just bounce off of it, so there's no point in doing that. Don't hit me, dragon. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, there's no point in, in shooting the dragon when it lands in the middle. Now, uh, while it's flying around, we can shoot it. Walter does a lot of damage to the dragon, which is really, really nice. That helps a lot. If you get a good bow when you're taking on the dragon, your your life is going to be pretty easy. Uh, what are you doing, dragon? Stop charging me. Stop. It doesn't work, dude. It's, it's, not, your, it's not your move. Yep. Keep flying around like that, dragon. Keep. Just keep doing that. Just, just keep. Yep. That's definitely working for you. So I would right here talk about uh, tricks to land shots on the dragon, but I don't know if honestly I'm the best one to, to talk about that. So yeah, just just do your best to, to hit the dragon. If you can hit the dragon, you will take a lot of health away from it if you have a good bow. But now we're gonna wait. The dragon is charging again. Okay, not scary at all, dude. The slow falling potion is seriously like huge here. It, makes me not even worried about getting hit by the dragon really it's the dragon's breath that scares me a lot because the stuff deals a lot of damage and ooh, our slow falling is gone so we're gonna have to go ahead and give ourselves a little bit more slow falling but uh it shouldn't be a big deal we can grab a little bit more dragon's breath which is cool and then uh excuse me enderman really oh okay okay all right, so it's my guess that we have like two, three more shots on this dragon, and then that is game over for this guy. Not so tough anymore, are you? Are you, dragon? All right, okay, very nice, dragon's breath. Nope, we're gonna move a little bit, and where'd you go? You're over there, cool, cool. Uh, one more maybe shot, one more. All right, so here it is. I really didn't want to have to do it to you, Dragon, but this is the final shot. You caused the second death of the world. You had it coming to you. Goodbye, Dragon. That's what I thought. Not so cool anymore. Why are you flying in circles? Stop that. Stop that. You're... Yep. <laughs> you were meant to be gone, Dragon. Always. This was always your fate. Whether you whether you got me or not, you know, not so cool anymore. Isn't, isn't that, isn't that kind of nice? Now, after you get rid of the dragon, experience is going to rain down everywhere. If you pick it up, you're going to get a lot of levels. Now, if you wanted, I guess you could probably leave it there, but it might just despawn, so probably pick it up. Now, when we're ready to go back to the overworld, we'll just jump through that thing, but there's one more thing that we need to get, and that thing is this egg. So punch it once, and it'll move. Now, where did it go? Now we have to find it, it's right there. Next, you're gonna need some torches, so kinda forgot to say that in the beginning. If you don't have torches on you, uh, just leave the end and come back, then get the egg, but put a torch below a block, break the block, the egg will fall into it, and boom, it is yours. You get an advancement for it too, which is pretty cool. And uh, we now have that thing over there, which means we can actually explore more of the end, which is amazing. That is really cool. It's almost a light your time, Elites, but this end island, uh, really quick, before we leave here, I want to take a look at this thing because it looks really messed up. Like, um, that's really weird. I almost thought it was a chunk error or two or three or four, but it looks, I guess that's normal. That's really weird looking, but, um, I guess it's normal. Now, the final thing that I'd like to do before we leave the end here is grab some of the end stone. I don't plan on using it on any builds immediately, but if we have some of it, we can make a storage room chest for it, and uh, we can just have it in general as a trophy because I, I honestly am kind of surprised. 
I really didn't think we'd get our second death in the world today. I mean, we got everything back and it wasn't that big of a deal, but wow, that dragon. Now we have two creatures that we have to get a lot of revenge on in this world. Maybe we'll get some revenge on one of them soon. Um, two, wow, couldn't believe it. Okay, so I feel like I definitely have to have more than a stack by this point, right? Uh, oh, right, definitely. Two stacks and 40 more, that is more than enough. So, let's go ahead and actually leave the end now. Now, to leave the end, all you have to do is jump into this space right here. Whenever you're ready to come back, you just have to go to the stronghold, jump through the portal, and you'll be put back on the platform that we'll make safer later on. The platform's over that way somewhere. But, let's go back to the overworld. But first, credits. Of course, credits will roll. If you have a lot of time, you should sit and watch the credits. There's actually kind of a cool story, but... A uh, big problem. I can't read. Uh, just kidding. I just don't have a lot of time. You'll be sent right back to where you last slept, or basically where your spawn is set in the overworld. So for me, it was this bed right here. I set my spawn in this bed in the stronghold right before the fight. Which is another thing that you should probably do. If you can set your spawn in a stronghold, which you can now without sleeping, you definitely should do that in case the big bad happens to you during the fight, like what happened to me, uh, because then you can get right back into the action. But you, you're gonna just, uh, you're, I'm sorry, buddy, you gotta go. We got a grass block too, and even more pearls, which is amazing. Now that we have access to the end without the dragon, whenever we need ender pearls, we can go over there and get a bunch really, really easily, because as you may be noticed, uh, endermen are everywhere in that dimension. But let's go right back to the base now. I think I've had enough uh, for today. So, we may have had a little bit of difficulty, but we did it. The dragon is gone. Now, the dragon isn't a one-time thing. You can actually respawn the dragon if you'd like to. I'd love to actually respawn the dragon a little later on. Maybe once we have some better gear, a better sword for sure. Sharpness 5 would be amazing. Just to uh, show the dragon who's boss, you know? Uh huh. Now, the dragon egg is a very, very special item. You will only get one of these in your world, so don't lose it. Every time you place it down and then punch it, it will teleport around which is kind of cool for now uh, until we build somewhere fancy for the thing we're gonna go ahead and put it in this chest right here with all of our other valuables the dragon's breath is also fairly valuable because to get more of the stuff we'll actually need to respawn the dragon so this stuff will go in here as well ender pearls can go right back over here and eyes vendor they can go in the same chest and then endstone and endstone bricks endstone bricks are i think the only thing that you can craft with endstone they look really really clean in builds i love these things now i'm kind of curious here actually i said i wasn't gonna do anything with these blocks today but what does endstone bricks or what do endstone bricks look like in the floor here uh those stand out way more than i would have thought how about just normal endstone uh, yeah, that stands out a lot. I thought these were closer in tone. Maybe we're just gonna leave the floor as is. I kind of don't have a problem with it anymore anyways. Uh, that would have been cool, but let's go ahead and put this stuff, I think, right here. We'll go endstone, and then maybe right above it. Well, no, you know, we don't have a lot of endstone bricks. For now, we'll just put them in the same chest. If we start having a bunch later, we'll split them up into two separate chests. But, Elites, that is going to be just about it for this episode of the Minecraft Guide, episode number 41, The Dragon is Gone. If you haven't fought the dragon yet, you definitely should. It can be a little bit of a challenge, but it's definitely fun. As you saw, zero deaths at all. Uh-huh, that's right, zero deaths. <laughs> Today, I'd like to send a big thank you to my patron, Louisiana Vader, for the support. Thank you very, very much. If you'd like your own fancy episode dedication, check out my Patreon. It is listed in the description down below. The merch is right down below the video, too. It supports me. If you grab it, I really, really do appreciate it. And if you do, definitely tweet at me because I'd love to see it. Like, subscribe, comment what you'd like to see next, and then go have a good day. I will see you in the next episode, Elites. Goodbye.